Okay, everybody, so the second part of my art haul came. So we get to open this. I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. So come on in. Grab something nice to drink, cold if it's hot where you are, or a nice tea if it's cold where you are. And let's sit down and see what's in these packages. So this was one of the backward, back ordered items from Blick Art Materials. And yep, that's exactly what I expected. It's the Karen Dash. Uh, there's a one pencil blender and one full bright blender. Um, and that'll be really fun to try those out. I'm not sure what the difference between the two are. I saw somebody using the bright blender on um, Instagram and it looked really cool. So I can't wait to try those out. And then this I'm also really excited about. This is ripping off and not even getting into the package. <laughs> How am I supposed to get into here? <laughs> I can't get in. <laughs> you can't see this one. I can't open it. Okay. <laughs> that worked, except I got a paper cut. Ow. Ow. Okay. All right. So, I mentioned this. I have, I have the three, this is a three book series by the same author. This is the first one. Um, I have all of them on Kindle, but I wanted at least the first one in paper um i didn't realize it when i bought it it was just on sale and it was like an impulse kindle buy um but she is an abstract artist and i started re reading it without knowing that she was an abstract artist and it is so inspiring i oh how do i say this like i think i've got a lot of the technical stuff down for art now as far as like value and tone and making things look realistic but now I feel like I need to try to find a way to put like some of my heart or my soul or whatever terminology you want to use into the paintings um so that sometimes I'll I'll do something and it'll be really realistic and it'll look like the photo and it just feels kind of empty to me if that makes sense um so I guess now I'm on the part of my art journey where I'm trying to figure out how to put like I said my heart or soul or whatever you want to call it into my work if that doesn't sound too corny it means something to me it's important I want I want to do that somehow um and I was reading this and like within the first few pages I knew I wanted it in paper um it's just full of yeah. Are you ready to set out on a journey of self-discovery to develop strength, clarity, and skill as an artist? The time to create your art is now. Whether you dream of loosening up and exploring creativity, expressing yourself, healing and becoming whole, experimenting with paints, colors, and techniques, or, you're, or surprising yourself with your art, the artist journey is your step-by-step -step guide to bold self-expression. That like sums up perfectly what I want to do. So... I just got this on Kindle, the first three books, like, last week. I'm only, like, a third of the way into this first one. I cannot wait to read the rest of them. The first one's really good. I highly recommend it. So, let's see what's in the rest of here. So, all of this in this box relates to my questions about um, acrylic art. I'm really going to get into acrylic painting and oil painting and trying to find a way to make oil painting safe for the winter. Um, so... I imagine quite a few things in the next couple of art halls will relate to that. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay, so this first thing is the least exciting, but really needed. <laughs> I got a little apron to keep the paint off my clothes. Because <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. I'm a mess. What can I say? Oh, it's nice and thick. It's a really thick fabric. This will be great. Okay, this is great. <laughs> yep. Perfect. <laughs> you can't ask for anything better than that. It covers me almost all the way up to my neck and all the way down to my past my knees. <laughs> all right, so now that we can keep my clothes clean, I can't even see what I'm doing here. There, is that better? Yeah, okay. All right, now. Now, this was a bit of an impulse buy. <laughs> you can't see in there, can you? Okay, let's check it. No peeking. This is the Liquitex Basic Inflorescent Pink. And I know it's totally not light fast. I know that. 
but I wanted it, so I got it. <laughs> it's really, it's such a pretty color. I was kind of thinking maybe I could use it for underpainting, but maybe I can't because it fades so... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do some light fast testing this summer. I'm going to test this and put it up in my south-facing garage window and see how fast it um, fades. I'd like to use it for an underpainting. You'd think like in an underpainting where it's not really exposed to light, it would last longer, right? If anybody knows if you can use fluorescent paint as an underpainting, let me know. Drop it in the comments. I suppose where it peeks through, it would fade. Well, I'll figure it out. Okay, these also probably aren't the most exciting, but I really needed them. I got the um, gesso boards, whoops, in the 6x6 and the 6x8 size. And I think, I don't remember how many were in each. This looks like there's four in this one and three in this one. So again, I think I mentioned it, mentioned it before in one of my videos, but if I haven't, daily painting, um, she's, the, the whole premise of the book is that you do a little six by six or a small painting every day so you get better faster um, and learn your materials, which is what I'm trying to do with the acrylics. So, um, and then I got the Liquitex Basics acrylic like mixing set what all is in here there are eight colors of paint uh yellow oxide primary yellow primary red primary blue uh thalo cyan cyanine green <laughs> burnt umber titanium white and mars black so i just i'm checking out a whole bunch of different brands i'm getting i think i think this whole set was like 20 24 i'm trying not to spend over $25 for each brand that I'm checking out. Um, Lockery Fine Arts swears by these. Like, she's a professional artist, and these are all she uses for her acrylic paintings, so I really wanted to try them. Um, I'm determined, determined to figure out acrylic this summer. It's gonna happen! I haven't done it yet, but maybe this summer will be the time. Okay, and then to go with that, I got these Liquitech Basics um, white synthetic brushes. There's three in here flats one really big one medium and one tiny and then also I got a bunch of individual brushes in both flat and bright I think no bright and filbert do they say filbert and flat um, and I think they range in size from two up to I think I want to say ten because I have a bunch of the brushes above 10 in these shapes. Uh, I have like 12 and above, but not the smaller ones um, for acrylic. I have oil brushes in these sizes. Don't mix your acrylic and oil brushes, people. It screws things up. I'm telling you. So these are, I needed the smaller size for acrylic. I tell you, I'm taking this acrylic stuff seriously this summer. And then, ta-da! This is the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Landscape Set. And this was on clearance on Dick Blick for 24 bucks which seemed like a really good deal. Um, they're the bigger tubes, I think. They feel big. It feels pretty heavy. I don't know if it says anywhere what they, what size they are. Here, let's open one up and see. Um, okay, don't laugh. I lost my scissors again. I had them earlier, but I have a butter knife, so that's almost as good, right? I know. I should buy another pair of scissors. I think... They're in all the wrapping on the floor, but I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah, these are pretty big tubes. So this should give me a good idea. Somebody's coming down here. These should give me a pretty good idea of if I like them or not. So I'm hoping to try, I don't know if I have the money for everything. I already have tried the Li Liquitex Soft Body, uh, the Windsor Newton Galleria, and um the golden fluid acrylics i don't know maybe i'm not a fluid kind of girl which is why i wanted to try the heavy body and then these which i think are maybe in between the two um, um and i'd like to try both the golden heavy body and the golden open and i'm hoping one of these is going to be the acrylic that really kicks things into high gear for me and that really gets me going so <laughs> If you think there's some other brand that's better, let me know. Uh, I do, I'm taking a class on Domestica about acrylic, um, and she swears by Ampersand brand acrylics, which I've never even heard of. I don't even know if you can buy them here. I'll have to take a look and see. Um, if you've used those, let me know if they're any good. So, 
Okay, so these were the last of the boxes that came for the June haul. And I ordered this stuff on uh, the Friday night or Saturday morning of Memorial Day weekend. And then Sunday <laughs> of Memorial Day we weekend, we went fishing and I took my camera with and I dropped and broke it, as you, some of you may have seen already. So this is the first thing I'm filming with this new lens. It is now... Um, oh, it's the Monday a week, a week ago Monday it was Memorial Day. So it's the Monday after that. This is also the first day my kids have off from school. So hopefully there's no noise in the background. Um, but so this is the last of what I ordered. Um, and we're going to open it in a minute. But like I said in my last video, this is the last one for a little bit. I ordered maybe a little bit too much this month in June. I have made a rule for myself. Oh, it's so hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like 89 degrees again. Um, I've made a rule for myself, I think, for all of June that the only art supplies I'm allowed to buy are ones I run out of. So, um, well, for all of June, um, which would then, yeah. So for sure for all of June and maybe some of July, all I'm allowed to buy is stuff I run out of. No new things, nothing that looks you know, exciting and fun that I want to try. I do have, you know, a fair amount of stuff here that I need to try and work my way through anyway, so we should be getting lots of fun videos out of that. So, for example, like in my Stay Wet palette, I'm on my very last sponge, and sometimes they get a little moldy. I am trying right now to see if I can um, use paper towels instead of a sponge, so we'll see how that works, um, but if it doesn't and I need to get more sponges, that would be okay. But for example, if I really, really want the Neo Color 2 wax oil, not oil, wax water soluble uh, pastels, which I very, very, very much want to try, that's going to have to wait. I can't afford those right now. So um, those will be something I'll have to get in the future, I guess. So let's open these three things and enjoy it while we have it and see what's inside. Okay, so this is a used book. I got it off of Thrift Books. If you've never checked that website out, that's a good um, site to check out. And it is called Paint Mojo, a Mixed Media Workshop. Creative layering techniques for personal expression. And I know this is probably gonna make me want the um, Neo Color 2 pastels even more, but I'm gonna have to just wait. Um, but it looked like a lot of fun and um, I'm trying to find like more therapeutic ways to do art. So I wanted to get this and I think it was like, I think $3 with uh, $3.99 shipping maybe or $1.99 shipping. I can't remember, it wasn't very much. So used books are a good way to go if you're on a budget. So that's the first thing. Okay, so in this one, I got this Art Talon sketchbook, and this is for a specific work project. Um, so I actually did need this. Um, it needed to be a separate sketchbook for what I'm doing. So maybe at some point I can share about that, but this is for a work project. Um, it's the 8.3 by 5.8 inch one, um, and it's good for pencil, charcoal, chalk, graphite, crayon, ink, and watercolor, it says. Hmm. So I'll be testing that out. Maybe in the back I can do some test pages um, for you guys and see if it really does hold up to watercolor. We'll see. And then I did order this and now I kind of wish I hadn't. I ordered it the night before my camera lens broke. I did get the premium sketchbook Zeta series um, Stillman and Burn mixed media. But, you know, I also kind of look at it as this is sort of going to be my... Um, art therapy notebook or not notebook sketchbook and I, I wanted a big surface to do um, acrylics on I mean I'm excited to have it I am it's gonna be good it's gonna be my therapy and you know I think it, 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 it should be helpful it should be helpful so <laughs> here let's open it up and see what the paper is like checking on that I hope this lens is working all right like I said it's the first one I've filmed with this it seems like the autofocus and everything is working which I was a little worried about but it's doing good so far I think Okay, so let's see what the paper in here is like. Oh, it's some beautiful paper. It's very thick. Yeah, this should definitely hold up to some acrylic. It's very thick. 
almost reminds me of like the Strathmore Bristol and with some binder clips that should lay pretty flat. So this is my therapy one. It'll be fun to use and then this is not an art supply. <laughs> These are really good if you have Crohn's disease <laughs> or anything where you're feeling nauseous or whatever. They help a lot. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay, so there's... And this is what's in here. This is the golden heavy body. Why does it feel like there's one missing? No, there's six in there. This is the um, golden heavy body professional acrylics. Um, so I am excited to try these. Uh, I did want to try the um, open golden acrylics, but again, I broke my camera lens. Um, and I, I did... I had some very wonderful, nice patrons who did donate enough to pay for the used lens. It wasn't so much about that. It was more that... So <laughs> the only reason I have a nice camera and like my art printer and my laptop and some of the art supplies I have is because um, in... I can't remember if it was like late. It was right around Christmas of 2019. I won an artist grant. Um, and it was a, a grant specifically for like beginning artists to um, get materials, supplies, and te technological um, devices to help them start their career. Um, so I won a grant and I bought the camera and my art printer and my laptop and um, oh, my easel and um, my, my big set of the Faber-Castile colored pencils. I bought with that. Um, I feel like there's something else that I'm forgetting. Oh, my oil paints. Most of my oil paints. My, my, when I upgraded to the better, the b better brands, um, which are Gamblin and Michael Harding. Um, so I actually would not have this stuff, uh, without that grant. So I, every day still, I say all the time how grateful I am for the grant because it, you know, enabled me to, to start and it was extra good because, you know, then I lost my, my jeweler, jeweler business during the pandemic and everything. So, um, yeah, I was super, super grateful for it. And the point that I'm making is like, I didn't buy these things on my own. It was the grant. So when the lens broke and I mean, I was lucky that one of my patrons found the used lens on eBay and sent me the link. Um, but when it broke and I realized like it was $270 to replace the lens, like I started thinking about like what happens if my art printer goes or what happens if my laptop goes. Um, you know, and I'm making enough right now to cover either my art haul or the like monthly bills that I mentioned. Um, and not both. And ultimately, I would like to cover the bills and then also start putting some money away into like an art emergency fund so that if I do break my camera in the future or my microphone or my laptop goes, like I have the money to replace it. So um, that's the thinking behind reducing the art halls. So hopefully you guys still stick around. I will still, like I said, replace supplies as I need them. Um, Maybe near the end of August, I may, if I still want those Neo, Neo Color 2s and I have the money, I might buy like a 40 set or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like as a, <laughs> as a send the kids back to school present for myself. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else stays home with their kids in the summer. Um, I do because childcare is pretty expensive here. Uh, and you know, I'm here, I'm working from home anyway. I have always worked from home, um, since I had them. Uh, I mean, I love being with them, but it, when you're with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the whole summer, it just gets a little, so I like sometimes will get myself a little art supply and open it on the first day. And also that's, I actually started doing that because, um, I'd send them back to school and I'd be lonely. <laughs> I'd be lonely and I'd miss them. And especially when they were very young, like, kindergarten and pre-k and those days those days were hard so I'd have a little something to keep myself occupied with during the day while they were not here so um I don't know if I'm gonna do that this year but if I do that would be what I'm gonna get I think especially I think she uses them in here a lot I do have oil pastels uh obviously not water soluble like the Neo Color 2s I'm wondering I don't know if anybody has used the Neo Color 2s or oil pastels on top of acrylic and canvases. Can you seal that? Do you seal it or do you just 
I mean, the oil pastels, you'd have to. And, like, if you have, if you're doing acrylic painting and you put oil pastel or Neocolor 2 on top, like, can you varnish it? Do you have to seal it with, like, workable fixative first? I don't really know. So if you do know, drop that in the comments for me, because I would like to know. So that is the last art haul. The last art haul for a while. Um, yeah, and you know, I had a lot of comments from people talking about how art hauls sometimes encourage them to purchase too much, and I'm not about consumerism at all. Um, we kind of do the whole slow living, grow your own food, minimize waste, like that sort of thing. Um, so this whole time I felt a little, I mean, obviously these are art supplies I'm going to use. Uh, I wouldn't have bought anything that I'm not going to use. And that was part of my, like, part of my thing was what happens when I get to art supplies where I've got everything I want. Um, so, you know, oh, one other thing I did want to show you. I did go out to Walmart last week too. Um, and I got this, uh, their dollar Rowney sketchbook. Um, it's soft white acid free and uh, uh, 65 pound paper. It almost feels like a construction paper, but it's acid free. Um, I don't think it would hold up to acrylics. Um, but I've been looking for a place for doing like brainstorming and like real sketching where I'm not precious about it at all or like afraid to draw something in it in case I ruin it. So this is purposely gonna be my brainstorming, writing, maybe even a little like journaling. Um, and then sketching as needed book. And it was, I think, $7.95 at my Walmart. Maybe $8.95. $8 it was either $7.95 or $8.95. That's a good Scott size sketchbook with a lot of paper for not a lot of money. So if you're on a budget, uh, I don't think it'll hold up to wet media. Um, but for drawing and sketching and stuff like that, I think it would be great. So that's the whole thing for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a big one. Um, go out with a bang, right? Not the channel, just the art, hand, art, art hauls. The art hauls went out with a bang today. So, I have a ton of um, acrylics to try. I've got my canvases, I've got my water-soluble mixable oils, and I am set for a fun summer. Um, and I hope to take you with me, and hopefully I don't break my camera lens again. It was just a weird freak thing. I was detangling my son's fishing pole, and it was on the tripod, and I don't know if like a gust of wind caught it, or what, but it just fell forward and I wasn't like within reaching distance to grab it because I was detangling his pole and eh, I don't know, it was a freak thing. But maybe it's good it happened because it made me realize like I really do need some sort of emergency fund so I can replace these things if they go because I'm enjoying the YouTube channel and I think other people are enjoying it and um, yeah, I want to keep it going so I have to be able to replace my camera or whatever if it breaks. If you want to join us over on Patreon, we're having a lot of fun. I just put up just a little fun June surprise tutorial. Uh, this was, I think, last week I put it up. We did these um, little galaxy bookmarks um, just as a crafty fun tutorial. And, oh, I'm thinking about maybe doing like some live Zoom. Um, I'm thinking of calling them create and chat. Maybe I'm thinking... <coughs> I'm thinking the videos here on YouTube might be called Art Chats, and then over on Patreon they might be called Creating Chats. So, like, we could um, all work on something together and just chat and have, like, a live Zoom call. That's another thing that I just had to purchase was I got the cord for this camera that would connect it to my computer so I could live stream from this because I am not set up to live stream yet, but I'm thinking about trying it. So, uh, that is coming and then I have to download the software and then I should be set if I can figure it out. So um, I'm thinking about doing that over on the Patreon. Right now the Patreon does have the Sketchbook Club where I do four prompts a week. Uh, nope, three prompts a week. <laughs> um, and we sketch and chat together and talk about art. And there's a Facebook group and a Discord group, which seems a little bit more active than the Facebook group. So the Discord group, there's a lot of people chatting to each other over there. Um, and then... I do four reference photos I take myself every month for you guys, and then I'm doing tutorials. We have, um, I'm doing a range of tutorials. I'm working on a pastel pencil tutorial for there right now. Um, so, hooray! <laughs> if you want to join us over there, we'd sure love to have you. I'd love to get to know you better, so if you'd like to, oh, and it's only $4 a month. Everything's one tier. I haven't split it up into more expensive tiers or anything yet. Um, I'm not sure if I ever will. Uh, my website is officially up. I'm trying to fill up the shop with some stuff and then I'll, I'll probably have like a grand opening. Um, you know another video I should do is 
I don't know if you can see it, that blue machine right there. That's my Cricut. Um, I make my own stickers. I could do a video on how I do that. That might be fun. Um, yeah, so I'm filling up the shop with some stuff. I'll have like a grand opening at some point and yeah. That'll be, the, the website is up and running, the blog has a couple things in it, and the shop has like two originals in it so far. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's going to have prints and stickers and bookmarks and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and then, if you haven't hit like or subscribe on here yet, I would love it if you would. That helps me go higher up in the algorithm, which helps YouTube to show my videos to more people, so more people get to see them. And it helps support my channel by bringing in a little bit of income, so I can buy art supplies and make videos. So thank you for being here with me, you guys, today. <coughs> I think I ate a mosquito. I swear it just flew right into my mouth. You <coughs> All right, happy creating, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>